So the first thing we need to do is go under the access panel on the curb side of the camper uh, where the water pump is located. So right now it should be in normal valve configuration. We're gonna need to turn it to winterization mode. Uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn the valves located directly in front of the water pump. What this is gonna do is allow us to utilize the water pump to draw from the rear inlet and push that antifreeze out to the faucets in the camper. In the rear access panel on the curb side, we will need to turn the valve for the water heater to bypass mode. It is the brass valve located at the bottom rear of the water heater. You'll turn it to bypass. There's also a silver valve located at the rear that we will need to go ahead and close in order to do the winterization of the camper. All right, to begin, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hand pump some antifreeze into the fresh tank. So we're gonna locate the fresh tank connection. Uh, it's located on the street side rear. Mm -hmm. Gonna go ahead and screw our hand pump connection to the rear of the camper. Mm -hmm. Then we'll just simply dip the other end down into some antifreeze and hand pump it into the camper. About three pumps is plenty. At that point, we can go ahead and disconnect and move to the city water inlet. Now we're gonna go ahead and connect a short hose to the city water inlet. This is gonna allow us to utilize the onboard water pump to pull the antifreeze into the camper. So first, we'll go ahead, remove the cap. We can secure the short hose into the inlet. We will need about two gallons to do this process. At this point, we can go inside and operate the water pump and the faucets. So we're gonna turn the water pump on. that we have the water pump on, we're gonna need to run the antifreeze through both the cold water lines and the hot water lines. So first I'll open it up on the cold water side. I'll go ahead and turn it on until I see the antifreeze come through. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to the hot side and do the same until it turns pink again. We're gonna to wanna to do the same thing here in the bathroom. Go ahead and turn it on the cold water side and go ahead and leave it on until it runs antifreeze through the faucet. Once it turns pink, you can go ahead and shut that off, turn it to the hot side and do the same thing. Once you have antifreeze coming through the hot side, you can go ahead and turn it off. If you have the standard toilet, we will wanna winterize that as well. What you'll wanna do is just press down on the pedal to allow water flow through. Once you have the antifreeze, the toilet is good to go. You can leave just a little bit in the bowl to keep the seal lubricated. With some of the remaining antifreeze, you will want to pour some down the shower pan. This is to try to make sure that the pea trap is protected through the winter. And if you have some left over, you can go ahead and pour some down the bath and kitchen sinks as well. We'll also wanna run some antifreeze through the outside shower. So we're gonna lower the outside door, open the shower, go ahead and pull the hose out, turn one on at a time. We're gonna go ahead and flush it through the hot water side. Once you have antifreeze, you're good to go. We'll go ahead and turn the other side on. Make sure we pull plenty of antifreeze through that side as well. Once you have the antifreeze coming through, you're good to go. Now that we're done winterizing the camper, we'll just go ahead and clean up and button everything up for winter storage.